School districts across our region are preparing to resume classes. Each district must decide in what form those classes will resume and what students, parents and staff can expect. And today in our ongoing special reports, Back to School with Eyewitness News, the I-Team's Andy Mahalshik takes us to Hazleton, where reopening plans are in full swing. There's no doubt about it, reopening plans have been a challenge for every school district across our region. But especially for Hazleton, consider this, and the numbers really tell the story. It's the largest district in our area, 12,000 students, 13 buildings, and it covers 256 square miles. As of right now, we're looking to start on uh, September 8th with the students, um, and it's going to be virtual. Superintendent Brian Uplinger is quick to point out that the district's reopening plan is a very fluid one, and the number of COVID-19 cases in the region will help determine the district's next course of action. We're going to look at the at the cases in the in the area, mostly Luzerne, but we're going to look at Schuylkill and Carbon since we cover all three three counties. Look at those uh, numbers and then say, you know, is it does it look like it's they're going down? Is it safe to bring in a number of students? Can we who can we bring in? How do we do that? And Uplinger says with so many districts going virtual, computers are at a premium. Right now we don't have all of our computers in, so parents please be patient. As soon as they come in, we will start disseminating them to those that didn't get them that need them. Celine Shagan has two children who attend Hastlin schools. She's also a teacher. So she's looking at the COVID era reopening from two perspectives. It is different. As a mom, I'm nervous for my kids, but I think, again, as a teacher, knowing what we're going to be doing, they'll be fine. And Matteo Fiola is about to enter the seventh grade. He tells Eyewitness News. It's going to be a little harder for kids because some of us don't really know how to use the computer and most of us just want to go back. And here's the bottom line, so says Superintendent Brian Uplinger. He's urging parents and reminding them this is a very fluid situation. Things could change literally day by day. Reporting in Hazel Township, Luzerne County, Andy Mahalshik, Eyewitness News. And you can see all of our back to school with Eyewitness News stories on pahomepage.com.